Hey, John Stevenson here, the Guaranteed Retirement Guy, and we're gonna talk about how to secure the best annuity rates in 2024. Okay, so let's talk about highest rates right now, okay? And you might watch this video 10, you know, five, 10 years from now after this, and there will be different rates. You'll still want to get in touch with me if you want to talk about the rates at that point, because I'm going to show you how to check them every single day. If you want to check them on my website, i um, happy to show you how to do that. Okay. It's very, very easy. Um, but first let's talk about the rates. Let's talk about what they're paying right now. Okay. So, and I'm going to look at the five, seven, and 10 years, and we're going to look at the fixed annuity contracts, the MIGA, the multi-year guaranteed annuities first, and then we'll look at the income annuities. Okay. All right. So, and I'm not going to change, you know, I'm, I'm just going to look at the top rates. I'm not going to change the ratings. So it's showing B plus plus right now, which there's a lot of good B plus plus companies and you got a good, a lot of good A rated companies. Um, but anyways, so if I look at the highest, you know, for five years, okay. Highest is 5.7. Okay. But it doesn't have any free withdrawal. Okay. So if you want free withdrawal, then interest only would be farmer's life. And that's 5.8. That's pretty good for five years. For seven years, you're looking at a 5.8 uh, with interest only with Heartland National and then a NASA at 5.65, but they don't give you any free withdrawal. Okay. So those are the top two out of these top three. If you want to look at the 10 year, well, 5.8, that's not bad. That's with Heartland National. And they do give you a free withdrawal of interest only. That's really good. Equitrust used to be the top one, but right now they're a 5.6. And they also give you a free withdrawal of interest only. So, And then you've got Farmer's Life, which of course gives you that interest only free withdrawal of 5.5. So that's pretty good. Really good rates right now. Um, we don't know, of course, what they're going to be in the next few months, next couple years. But we know right now they're historically high. And so if you're looking to take advantage of the, any of these, we can look at those. Now, let's just change this real quick to only A rating because a lot of people that reach out to me only want to have access to A rated companies, which I can understand. Um, so let's go to back to the five year. Five year, you'll notice that the, the highest A rated company is Anico. Okay. And it's 5.55. That's a pretty good rate. And they're giving you a 10% withdrawal privilege every single year without a, any type of charge, right? There's no surrender charge, anything, anything above that 10%, of course, they, they would charge you that. So, all right. So that's 5.5. Um, let's look at, let's look at the seven year, seven year Anico again is at the top and then they're followed by Corbridge and then Americo financial. And you'll notice that they're all paying 5.5. So really at this point I look at, all right, well, what is the best option um, and I would say probably the Anico just because they do give you the free withdrawal of 10%. So if you want to take out just interest only, you certainly can, but, uh, they're also allowing you to take a little bit more than that, you know, up to 10% if you want to. The other one, American pathway advisory, um, this is fee based. Okay. So whenever you got a fee based in there, then you've got someone with a license to charge you a fee. Um, instead of the insurance company paying a commission outside of the deal, which means you're going to be out more money. So keep that in mind when you're working with an advisor who charges fees, because um, that's going to overall that's going to take down your your yield to surrender, right? Um, so you want to make sure that you want as much. You know, we want to have the highest yield possible. And so usually um, working with commission-based products because the insurance company pays it, not you. Okay. All right. So that's for the seven year. For the 10 year, we're looking at Oxford. Oxford's the highest right now, 5.35. Um, and then followed by Anico, 5.35. So they're both the same, but Oxford is allowing you first year interest only. And then you, after that years two through 10, it's 10%. With Anico, they give you 10% right from the get-go. So I would say if you're looking for more flexibility, choose Anico because they give you more than just the interest in the first year if you want to take it. And so that's pretty nice. Um, let's just take this a little bit further. I want to show you the actual um, growth here. And, and I'm just looking at 500K. Um, if I were to let this sit in compound at this rate... Guaranteed ending value from 500,000 is 842,000. Wow, that's great. And you can see the growth here, the 5.35, you see that? And you notice the earnings column? That's growing every single year compounded because 
If you notice the account count value, it's earning 5.35 every single year on a higher amount. That's the power of compound interest. So if you don't want to have a compound, you don't have to. You could, If you want to just take earnings out and get your half a million at the end of the term, you can do that. The earnings of the first year is 26750 And if you take that out, that's what you take out every year. And at the end of it, you know, you've taken out what? $267,000 in interest. And then you get your 500K back. Okay. Definitely less than the compounded growth of 342,000 if you decide to let it compound. So that's something to think about. Now, if you're wanting maximum income, I would not recommend these because they're really just like CDs. They give you a lot of growth according to current rates. But if you're looking for lifetime income, especially if rates go down during this period and you're trying to trade it for something else later on, you may not have a good, um, any type of good situation or good option to roll it into. Um, you might take a cut in your income. Okay, so if you're looking for highest guaranteed income, then I would look at the highest annuity rates for income. Okay, so let's take a look at those. So, and again, before we do that, let me just point out on this as well. Some annuities, fixed annuities, MIGA annuities, they have high band and low band. High band means if you get, if you have a certain amount, maybe it's 100,000 or 250,000, we're gonna give you a little bit higher rate of return. If it's below those amounts, then it's considered the low band and you have a lower rate of return promised. So let me illustrate, and I'm just curious how this, how this would change if I just lower this to, I'm just gonna lower this to 99,000, okay? I wanna see if any of these go down. They do. See the five year, 5.7. Seven year, 5.8, so you still get that, that's not bad. Um, 10 year, 5.8, okay, all right, well that's not bad. So none of these went down, at least for the B rated. Let me look here for the A rated. Just curious, okay, now that changes up a little bit. All right, so look at that. So 5.45 for the five year. Let's see, seven years still 5.55, I believe that's what it was before. And then 10 years, 5.35. Um, let me just, let me just double check this. So 10 years, 5.35 is the highest with 99,000. If I change this to 100,000, look at that. The five year goes up, seven year stays the same, 10 year stays the same. All right, so if I change this to 250, see if that changes any of them. Nope, not really. Um, anyways, keep in mind there are some instances where that will change and the rate will be lower. So when you're looking at rates and you're thinking, oh, well, I thought the rate was here, a lot of times it is based on a certain amount that you invest, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, let's look at the index annuities with the income riders because if you're looking for highest rates for income, then we need to talk about that. Okay, so same $500,000, start income at 70 years old, okay? And this is a single payout. Right now it's $42,000, that's pretty good. That's really good. Um, and then, of course, you could see, um, well, some of these, though, they'll give you 42000 then they'll reduce it to thirty grand. That's not a very good one. So, so I would say no income reduction. We want to make sure that all of these will give me the most I can possibly get and see, and then it'll show me what it'll be, what the level payment will be for the rest of my life. Okay, these are the highest rates right now as of this recording um, for April 2024. Okay, so things will fluctuate. These could go higher, these could go lower. It just depends on the current rates of the day. And, and if you want to take a look at current rates, um, you definitely want to book a, book a call with me. I've got a link below in my calendar and we can look at all the top rates for income annuities. We can look at all the top rates for, uh, for MIGA annuities. All right, so what if you're married? Well, a lot of my clients are married, okay? the income will definitely be a little bit less because they're on the hook for two lives. And at the same age, if you and your spouse are both 70, it's not a huge change. What, 39,000, you know, down from 42 grand? That's not bad. What if your spouse is older? Okay. We'll just say two years older. Okay. They're still basing off the younger, but because they're, you know, it's still $39,000. Now, uh, I'm just curious here how that'll change if your spouse is younger. Let's say they're 65 and you're 70. Look at that. The income now drops from 39 to 35 because especially like, like, and I'm showing this as a male married to a woman, women live longer. And so because of that, um, they know they're going to have to pay out more. And so the income is typically less. 
but it's, it's joint. It's guaranteed to never run out for your life and your spouse's life. And most people want that because they want to make sure that if that account value goes down to zero, the income does not stop if they pass away. And that's really, really important for a joint payout option. Okay, so we'll look at just a couple more scenarios here. Um, I'm just going to assume that I'm not 70. Let's say I am 62, okay? I'm 62, my spouse is 60, okay? And we still want to take income at 70, but we decide to invest it earlier, okay? Well, look at that. Now we've got 60, almost $68,000 in income. Okay, if we want to look at the highest A-rated right now, we're looking at Espida, we're looking at North American, they're at 61 and 62,000. That's joint income. That's really good. Um, and that's only because, I mean, if you go and look at the growth here, um, you've got an income writer attached. They're charging you around 1%. But for that, they're giving you a benefit base that grows pretty substantial. You notice the 500,000 here, the benefit base starts at 720. And then it goes up to 1.1 million 40,000 multiplied by 5.45% gives you $62,130 a year guaranteed the rest of your life. Wow, that's amazing. Um, but if you want just the highest possible, Equitrust is great. I work with them all the time. It may be a B++ company, but they are phenomenal to work with. So I don't think you'd go, go wrong working with them as well. And it's giving you higher income. So let's take a look at how this one would perform. Well, if you'll notice, the benefit base here, 583000 is less than the 720 that the other one was giving you. But the lifetime withdrawal rate starts higher and goes higher than the other one. So when these both are multiplied against each other, it gives you that income number. And so for that income rider charge that they're charging you every year, you'll notice that at the end of this, you know, if you take it at 70, it's, it's basically a million dollars multiplied by 6.8 gives you that $68,000 a year in guaranteed income, rest of your life. So that is the power of course, deferral and allowing that income, that benefit base to grow. And that's contractually, that's guaranteed. And so if you're thinking about retiring later, then, and, you, and you've got the money to invest, maybe you should think about putting some money into an annuity right now so that you can have much, much higher income and much higher ROI later on. Okay. That's just, that's just good planning. So anyways, there is a link to my calendar below this video. If you want to chat more, go ahead and get into my calendar and I'll be happy to go over your, whatever you're looking for, uh, any type of annuity you want to look at, I'm happy to go over it. Um, very, very transparent in these things. I think it's important to show everything that's available and show you why I recommend certain companies and why I don't. And, and then you can make the decision. So I think that's really, really important. And I appreciate you watching the video. Um, hopefully we'll be able to meet and talk and, and be able to help you find the best annuity uh, for your goals. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time.